Hello. Just gonna check that. Hello. Yep. Everything seems to be working. All right, I'm back. Almost on time. What a. Uh, what madness is this? Oh, I should probably change the stream title. I am awful at doing that, you know. Right, half nerd. God, I don't know how to change the stream title in this. There must be a way of doing it in the dashboard. I call myself a streamer. Alright, Ballyman129. Oh, great, lovely. Hopefully, Mike will see it soon. I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you very much. Let's see, I've got the little ant here. Ooh, spiky. The engine's booting at the minute, so um, so you get to see my glorious face. You're right, pick of death. Good to have you back with us. Okay, so yesterday after the stream, I actually worked on a load a load of stuff. I even tried an optimization, but the optimization turned out that it couldn't happen because it caused a uh, what do they call it? A cyclic reference reference. Basically, it's one it's one piece of code referencing another, or including another, which includes it. So you end up with the code being included cir circularly forever, so it won't compile. Oh, thank you very much. Glad you glad you like the game. You're right, Raptor. Good to have you back. Yeah, you. You're gonna get my face for a minute because the because it's still building at the minute. But I'm gonna chat about what I did last night, which is interesting. And it has some interesting uh, has some interesting uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's got some interesting possibilities for extra levels or other other interesting levels which aren't uh, core game. So yeah, last night I created a cyclic reference whilst trying to optimize something. Um, so I had to undo a load of what I did, which was great. Um, but I also I've, I also created a couple of options um, on, that you can do on the tile grid, which allow ants, well, which allow creatures assigned to a a marker to ignore the marker. Uh, the marker gate, which is the thing that decides when you can go to the marker, and to ignore the thing which sends them home. Now, I I did this in order to um, in order so tug of war level will work a bit better. So basically, in tug of war, you don't want them waiting at home. You want them to immediately go. Uh, especially in the early parts parts of the level where you've got like five or six ants. It gets a bit annoying with having a one or two just hanging around the nest waiting to be told they can go. So I did it for that reason, but but it's it's now just a couple of balls that you can turn on on the um, on the tiles a tile grid, so you do it on a per player basis, and it, uh, it potentially allows for some. Oops. Where you control like one character, 
or well you control like one creature or or a small group of them because it basically allows you to directly control well sort of they still wander around at the end of the trail but they um but they won't be sent home back again so it's got some potential for some interesting levels how will the size of the fire ants work in the game you know they are very small and will the hexagons be smaller or will they just be tiny they will be tiny <laughs> the fire ants will be tiny yeah level yeah uh, mike's right there the level level um level 3 tiles will spawn in extra fire ants as well the idea of the fire ants is they're numerous so they're cheap unit they are cheap to respawn uh, their abilities promote them kind of respawning so what you'll want to do with them is just throw them at enemies and not worry too much about losing them as much as you would on as a certainly like if leaf cutter mages it's very painful to lose to lose those but we're still packaging it's going to take a little while um so some I didn't talk about yesterday was what Liam's been working on. I spoke extensively about what Matt's been working on, which was the fire ant bridges. Um, didn't really speak about what Liam's been working on, um, but I'm going to go in. I'm going to open up the source control and have a chat about it a bit. Just I'm just going to go through some of the um, some of the comments that were left in the source control, and you get you get a feel for some of the things that have. Uh, been going on. Matt yesterday did something that terrified me. <laughs> he removed a base class in the game. Um, I think essentially you, you um, all the things that are climbable in the game at the minute um, uh, so which is the it's currently the plants but there's other th there's other things coming in as well so you will be able to climb on creatures. The hat was going to land on that, and then um, so all all those things in the game uh, currently they just ha they stem from a base class which was called static climbable. Now Matt's moved um, moved a lot of the functionality from from the static climbable. Well, he's moved all of its functionality onto a component. Now, components can be put on different things. So, um, unlike unlike a base class. So, a, a base class is like let's say you let's let's say you have a cricket ball. Um, funny analogy, but let's say you have a cricket ball. Its base class would be ball. So, the base class would allow it to roll. Um, and uh, all the things the balls do, so I like to be thrown, that sort of thing. And the then the cricket ball class would add things on like its weight, um, how it reacts when it's hit with a bat, that sort of thing. So that's so if you have a base class, you have a class, and then an another class on top of it, kind of extending from the previous class. Um, however, a component, what a component does is uh, you could you could put functionality from a component onto any onto any um, actor in the game so let's say you wanted a a zombie's head to be interact with the cricket bat as well as well as the cricket ball then um, then you could have cricket bat interaction um, in, into a component you attach it to the zombie's head and the cricket ball and then they both can know how to react Uh, when they both both know how to react in the set in a similar way when when interacting with the cricket bat, because the cricket bat interaction has been put on this component instead. So he's essentially putting the climbing stuff onto a component. I think now I'm not sure whether he he's doing this to put it onto the fire ramp bridges or the titans. My guess would be the fire ant bridges, because I think the way fire ant bridges are going to work is they're going to be like as if you were climbing a plant. You're just going to be climbing across instead, I think. Um, 
So, yeah, inheritance and components, different things, but so they they've got different uses. This is what this is what you get when uh, when I'm waiting for the engine to boot. You get me giving pseudo uh, <laughs> pseudo like kind of uh, rough explanations of programming terms. So yeah, I think that's what he's doing. But essentially, he's moved it, this functionality onto a component, then deleted this base class, which I think has broke a lot of stuff in the levels. Now he's 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 already. If 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 I read you his um his, the the comments he's put with his commits to the source code. So the first one was checkpoint, checking checking in some bridge related stuff before I break everything. The next comment was checkpoint, removed a static climbable class, moved functionality to a component, fixed as many bugs as I found, expecting more to come up, will be checking three, three underscore x levels next. Checkpoint, next one is checkpoint, fixed issues on 3.1 in response to static climbable refactorization. Next one is check, checkpoint 3.2 also. And that's that was his his final commit yesterday. So there's probably a few more bugs that are going to come up than what he's found. I'm wondering how it's going to work with free play save games. Maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll completely broken free play. Who knows? Is pointing at the missing type, missing class, or was it referencing? It was it was extended from, so he's he's essentially reparented it. It's no longer um, it's no longer a, like the the plants are no longer static climbables. They are plants in their own right that have this component attached to them. I mean the component. Think system is all part of Unreal Engine, although classes and inheritance are just general programming concepts. We're at seventy-one percent open. It normally gets stuck at seventy-three percent. Yeah, there we are, seventy-three percent. Let's see how long we're at seventy-three percent. Okay, so I've I did the um. I made a change yesterday to allow in tug of war for the ants to just leave and not hang around. We will give, we'll be giving that one a test, but we'll also be there's one other thing I wanted to do which I mentioned yesterday, which was uh, to remove the minimap icon for the marker being placed. So I'll be looking at that as well. Um, I'm going to go backwards in chat because I I didn't respond to everything. Oh, they can make bridges. This game gets better and better. Yes, they they'll be able to make bridges. It was actually a Kickstarter goal um, back in the day, way back when. Static climbable or static climbable? Well, static climbable. It's a it's a name of a um it's a name of a class, so it can't have spaces in it. <laughs> Inheritance and components. Back brain hurt. Nice. Blah, blah 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 blah. Okay, all caught up. So yeah, the first the first fifteen minutes of the stream have been me have been a talking head. This is actually the um, reality of programming. Is there is a lot of waiting around. <laughs> there wasn't so much waiting around. So much more would get done. That's why I like um, in Unreal Engine. You can you can do things quickly in the blueprints. And then later move them into code. I like doing that because you kind of can iron out a lot of the problems rapidly. Because in the blueprints, compiling takes very little time. It's only when it's in C plus when you go into C plus plus that compiling takes a long time. 
be fair, this is engine booting, it's not compiling, it's trying to load everything in the game. Yeah, <laughs> why aren't you working on loading, compiling, rendering? Yep. Yeah. I think it's a I think it's a, an issue with many of the digital industries. The amount of dead time to uh <laughs> to to waiting. How have we all been doing? Uh, I'm going to start with trying to do this uh, thing. No, the marker. I'm going to tr start by trying to hide the marker um, on the mini map. Once I've done that, though, I think Tug of War then just needs its decoration finished and it's done. I think I might pass that one off to Matt because I am not confident with it. Uh, with the decoration. I think what I've done is actually okay, it just took me ages. And Matt needs to make the uh, foliage be able to spawn on the skirt of the map. Okay. Right, the engine has booted. Let's bring you in. Cool if you could buy all the ants available in story. Uh, I know what you mean. Um, although the the amount of ants by the end of the game is actually going to be like the amount the amount of ants that can potentially be built by the player is going to end up being quite a high number. So it's I mean the, the, with the next oh, one second. Okay, where were we? Okay, so I haven't turned it on in this level yet, but
So there, ignore market gate and never send home market ants. Okay, so and I need to do that with the computer as well. Okay, so The uh, the ants that you know are that that are confirmed coming to the game already are the fire ants because um, that's the ne next major update and the bullet ant because that was a Kickstarter goal. The bullet ants just a post campaign unit that is going to become available to purchase. I mean in game purchase, not um, will be available to get in your. Uh, Form a carrier after you've completed the campaign. Oh look, look at that texture. Funky. Anyway, uh so I know this I know this works already, but I should probably give it a quick test. So yeah, those who don't know anything about this level, the way this level works is you don't have control over placing markers or anything. All you have control over is building units. Eggs spawn automatically on a timer for you and, and your opponent. Right there, the timer's ticked, the eggs have spawned. Um, income is received periodically and you receive extra income if you're if you have an ant past the center right so Right, so our colony is receiving the bonus resources, so our income's gone up. Um, you also receive uh, money for defeating enemy ants. Looks like they're going for a Zerg strategy. They've built these army ants, which are dead cheap, the, the little army ants. I mean, we're doing well because we're still holding the center. Yeah, I think it's the Zerg one. Oh, I don't have any more cash. No, in fact, I'm going. That's something else I wanted to do was disable the worker button. Um, at the minute, it's not possible to to not have a worker button. I think basically, if you don't have a worker at the minute, if you don't have a worker species set at the minute, it defaults to form corruptor. I uh, really, I need to it to default to nothing. So far, I'm winning. Don't know what difficulty I've got it set. I'm not even sure if I if I what I did with difficulty.
Seg is winning, it always wins. We'll see. You think the army and Zerg strategy is always going to win in this? Might do. I mean, they've pushed me back at the minute, so they're getting the bonus income. Although I'm the one with the uh, momentum at the minute. Because their they're ones are coming out in drips and drabs. Uh, okay, let's get some trap jaws. Oh, so yeah, yeah, you increase your income by killing the enemies. It's not um, so it slowly increases the more you kill. I think it's based on the points you've received, actually. Oh, <laughs> okay. The momentum's definitely back with them now. Where's my first trap jaw? There she is. Not going to survive very well here. I wish he took down two. Oh, it's time for a second trap drop. <laughs> now this one, this trap jaw is a bit in a bit of a better situation. Yeah, there we go. Get that damage in. And boing, heal. I think I just missed a spawn there. It's it's different because the computer um, has multiple strategies as well built into it. Um, I mean, this is this is the stra the um, the army ant zerg strategy where it just literally builds the little army ants. I think later on it builds some other things to mix it up, but not much. It's pretty much the army ants through and through. But but yeah, it's. It's 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 a little different, and it's got some replayability because because of the computer switching its strategy up. It's a very chilled out map. You used to do a lot of watching. Is the 
mission already to beat the story mode. First mission with just workers. That's a um, achievement. Achievement to do that. Yeah, there, there's an achievement to do the formicarium, first formicarium challenge with just workers. It's fully possible. Quite a lot of people have done it. I'm pulling away at the minute. My score is a lot higher than theirs. It's the survivability of the trap jaws. I think some people really like this map for its chilled out aspects. Other others Others it won't be their cup of tea because they're uh, they prefer the more stressful aspects of the game. But it's just an extra level, like it doesn't have to be forever to everyone's tastes. But yeah, it needs decorating. Oh. <laughs> Who thought you can actually, uh... Oh, I need to stop you being able to cancel the marker as well. <laughs> okay, so there's a couple of things I need to do. Right, let's get the pen out. It's getting serious. We're getting the pen out. My daughter recently found my little notepad, so now it's full of scribbles. Um, okay, so hide marker placement on minimap. Disable marker placement. Placement when clicking tunnel exit. <laughs> Slash mini map. There's a few things I need to do. Oh god, I've let my money build up and there. No, I don't upgrade, don't upgrade, just build more, build more. Okay, what else do I need to do? Uh, oh, why is that flashing? The wood ants upon the hill have finally <laughs> defeated their would be successes. Tomorrow their empire will Victory animation and defended into tidal flats below, commanding both the aphid farms and the bounty of the sea. This colony Plus narration. to become an undeniable power in the undergrowth. I must have got some into their nest, and they must have missed me. The queen is in imminent danger. Yeah, I've got a bunch of them in their nest. <laughs> now I'm losing. Oh look, they've got some wood ants. For some reason it's stuck on black screen now. <laughs> the ants must protect the queen. There's clearly a few things broken. Oh, an error as well. Got an error come up. 
Right, access none, trying to access chosen sequence. So that'll be why it's black at the end. It was trying to play a sequence, but couldn't. How much of the uh, old level is still in here? Not much, I imagine. Uh, so have a, let's have a quick look at victory, shall we? Okay, so there's the narration. Don't need narration. Uh, victory screen just fly. So I'm looking for there's the fade out sequence. Here. Okay. So chosen sequence has not been okay, so here's so it's a victory. We come up here. If it's set to use pawn sequence, we go there. Else victory sequence I think just comes from this. So let's have a quick look at the level methods. Yeah, so there's no victory sequence set. Um, there's a defeat sequence. just let's put a couple of test things so right brackets victory action F bracket defeat Okay, so I'm expecting defeat action to circle round my queen and victory action to do nothing. So we haven't got a victory set. Right, coming back to chat, sorry. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Uh, that was great. There's a mission already to beat the story mode. First mission we just blah. Every game now has to have an auto chess mode. Coming soon, EOT Battle Royale. By the way, and the stat sheet level 1, Armian, Media, point value is 14, the same as a level 2 Black Ant. Ah, so the point value needs to change. So if you build Armian, Media, Right, okay, yeah, let's note that down. Change Army Ant Medea Point Value. Okay, we've got a few things we need to work on. <laughs> Isn't spider level like a battle rail? <laughs> You're right, that boy I thought. Good to good to have you back, it's been a while. 
Your ants went into another hole. Yeah. Yeah, they came in the other one. Yeah, be because my ants were going around. Because I was messing around with the marker. Cement 2000 has come a long way. Yes, it has. Very chronically. I don't think he noticed. He had his ants around the enemy ants. And then Ness was moving the marker. Yeah, so yeah, I cheated. I did definitely cheat there. I need to prevent that bit from being able to happen. Okay, so let's see what the defeat sequence looks like. In the end, it was the nocturnal creatures that delivered <laughs> the final blow to the high ground wood ants. Was it? Was it the nocturnal creatures? Right, I need to remove the. Right, so I need to create some victory and defeat sequences for the level. guys being filmed so what's this defeat cam are these tile grids the wrong way around yes they are That's confusing. Looks like kidneys. Okay. So. Queen head. Defeat camp. There's a defeat sequence in the level, although I might just create new ones. Um, cinematics? These ones are nice and simple. this uh tug of war defeat for defeat tug of war victory that defeat Q triggers in 2.2 .2 when you die to the underground creatures at night yes yes it does there is a, there's an audio cue that plays um, when you die to the night creatures so there's there's um Liam tries to think of all possibilities that might happen. It might never have happened to you, so you may never have heard that.
Okay. So what am I trying to do? Oh yes, okay, so I've, I've got these two sequences now. So, defeat will happen around your queen. Victory will happen around theirs. Let's get rid of the old defeat. as well so there's a defeat cam new blah, blah, blah. load of these cameras that I don't think are used anywhere they're just from the uh, from the other level uh, might be able to use those so We'll see. Let's do the defeat first. Okay, so if I play it. So we got a whole lot of nothing going on. Where's the camera? Exciting. It's pretty much exactly what we want, just Oops. It's <laughs> unlocked from the camera. Okay. Lock back onto the camera. Okay, so obviously this is an ideal. Start the camera off a lot closer. Oh no, hang on, I need to. There's a tick box I need to do. It's to do with create a key when channel properties change. I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. That seems fine to me. Is anything wrong with that animation? It's fine. Save. I think I can get rid of that queen head thing as well. This is where I find out I needed it. It's still fine. It's because it spawns its own point. Okay, that's 
fine. It's all fine. Don't need to save it because it's already been saved. Okay. And victory. Exactly the same. Turn that off for now. So where's the queen head point this time? Okay, you're all the way over there. Oh, painfully slow. All those brains. Right. Slow the camera's speed down now. Okay. Uh, okay, let's lock onto this camera then. The automatic keyframe thing. Start you off here. Uh, finish you. It'd be like, it'd be like here, shall we? What's that look like? I think that's fine. Seems fine to me. Don't think I need to waste any more time tinkering. Okay, right, close. Is this your pylons? What? Okay, so we've got those victory con and defeat conditions in. We just need to add them to the level methods. It's a class I invented ages ago, and I love it for central things in the level. Okay, so took a f this is victory sequence. Victory, defeat. Save level, run the level, test the victory and defeat animations. them off. And that's one of the five things I wrote down that I need to do this morning. Not much of the morning left. Uh, okay, so... The voice um, synthes—the voice synthesizers you can get these days. <laughs> okay. Change level name. Uh, rewards. <laughs> Remove rewards. Let's test the victory one. <laughs> Just 
still alive, stop crying. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. That's be the quickest victory of this level ever. Achievement tracking button is off. It's also, yeah, it is off. Uh, something else. I haven't heard anyone complain about it, so I don't know why it's off on my screen. It's not in a live game. Anyway, um, okay. So victory and defeat work anyway. So victory and defeat animation done. Uh, Okay, so I need to find the thing that disables marker placement anyway, uh, which I believe will be in level methods. Standard controls. This is the stuff about placing a marker. Disable marker placement. Okay, so there's a thing called disable marker placement which comes from. I'm guessing it's just here. Yeah, disable marker placement in level methods. Okay, so. test this. Okay, so that never um never gets called. Is that really? Okay, so that's going on. I was sure that was where it was going to come from.
looks like looks like there's a duplicate function. Yeah. Okay. I might need to do it in both of them to be honest. And if I do it from the minimap, what difference does that make? Looks like when it's done from the minimap, it's not um, it's not actually entering the nest. I need to fight. I need. To, uh, rawr. Okay, so it needs to check level methods. So to do that, it needs access to level methods. Now. Disable marker placement, is it? Right, um, I need to think about this. Looks to me like it's no longer handled by this place marker function. Handled by a function to do to do with the right click instead. However, there might be an occasion where that place marker function is used. I mean, I mean, at the start of the level, there is Oh, that bypasses everything. That's okay. That's good. Am I placing the enemy nest just out of interest? No, I can't. Okay, so at least that one's disabled. I better can play the mini map. Yeah, I appear to I appear to be able to place markers anyway. That might have been um there might be some recent changes that have happened. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, begin play. I'm going to get a reference to level methods. Hang on.
just seeing if this if there's a central point that I can get level methods because I'm sure it's been done in the code somewhere before but it might it might be in a Okay, so that there is something called level methods in game mode. However, it's not accessible outside. Looks like I do use it for a few things though. Which I probably used. Hmm. Okay, so I might need to bring you into C++ for this. So So I'm basically trying to allow myself access to this disable marker placement button without having to do a get all axes of class which is a very inefficient way of getting hold of something that's in the level now it seems level methods is already accessible in game mode however it's not accessible in the blueprints however I've done something similar I think I've changed level methods. Give me a second. Okay, so I've done something similar here in game mode on this force spoil variable so you can just speak to game mode and ask it to get force spoil however there is an issue in that this disable marker button is not available in C++ it's a it's a blueprint thing However, what I'm going to do is, hang on,
So here. So I'm creating a new variable. I'm going to delete the old one eventually. Okay, so now there's a method of getting it as well, and it's accessible from C++. So Disco, if we complete the new mission, we unlock the two types of fire ants. 40 and 170 food. Are you, are you talking about army ants? Uh, no, there's, you don't you don't unlock anything by completing those missions. Uh, someone suggested that we should uh, allow have the um, the counterpart colony in free play, just as a colony option, and that's totally possible. I'm, Isn't there uh, uh, Yes, yes, you're right. Well then. It's okay, the, uh, the compiler will tell me of that in a second because I, you can't. Uh, it'll, it'll try and compile how it was and fail. Um. So I'm 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 thinking that's not a bad idea to have it unlock the counterpart colon like the counterpart colony in free play. It'd be good fun to be able to play around with army ants in free play. Slave makers and trap jaws. Wait, this is gonna take a while. I've changed the H file. The compiler takes a while. Let's have a so let's have a chat about what Liam's doing then. I mean, I've I've already told people basically what Liam's doing, but okay. So as Matt's been working for a month on the fire and bridges, which have turned out to be a lot more complicated than he'd hoped, uh, Liam has been working for pretty much exactly the same amount of time as well for about a month on water walking so the idea is that certain creatures will be able to walk on or swim in water um, as part of the fire ant levels because as you can imagine with bridge with fire ant bridges being there water is going to be a, a, a key feature in those levels water seems to be a key feature in quite a lot of our levels but 
but yeah, particularly one level is going to be very focused around water. Um, so Liam's actually been putting a lot of effort into that, and as he's been doing it, well, when he when Liam redid the movement code over this summer, not this summer, last summer, um, the was it last summer or the summer before? but essentially put something in place which does a check to see if, if if everything's accessible from from a central tile so from your um, nest entrance and if it's not accessible it doesn't um, figure out the pathing in that area and doesn't let things walk in that area or anything um, however the water walkings change that and it essentially means there's certain areas that aren't reachable but should still be pathable so with the changes he's made you can for example make an area of raised cliff that wouldn't that has got no ramps or anything on it and creatures can still walk on the top of it um, and it's going to be useful for some of the for some of the upcoming levels but it, it, it opens up other possibilities as well so you can have creatures pathing in these separate zones and maybe you've got ways of connecting the zones at certain times or creatures that can jump between zones uh, those sort of things so it it creates it creates other possibilities but it's mostly for this um for the fire ant level but it's taken him a long time to do because he's had to he's had to go quite deep into the code break a lot of it this is, seems to be a common theme is breaking a lot of our own rules so we create these rules in place and the gameplay mechanics and that and then the next update we decide we want we want to be able to do this little thing so it needs to break this rule um, so it, and you end up down a rabbit hole of knock on effect things that can break in all sorts so yeah fun times idea for the fire ant extra level in the future I'm just reading chat the player has to achieve a certain population before a time runs out or fire ant wraps and evacuate the colony mm -hmm. right yeah, still building not really um, the stream's ending soon anyway. I'm, I'm ending the stream at midday. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm working on disabling the market placement at the minute. Jarmy up with your point value. I mean, what is? Let's have. Uh, I'm gonna have a quick. I'll, I'll have a look at that. Whilst I won't, I won't show you the sheets because the sheets currently have every creature that's coming to the game with some stats in them at the minute. So I'm not going to show you the sheets because you know exactly every creature that's coming to the game. But I can talk whilst I'm doing it. Okay, so assets data creature stats. Okay, so apparently the army ant Medea are worth too much. Not worth too much. They, they point value wise, they're worth too much, which matters a lot in this level actually because um because the points score you get directly affects the um, your income 
So, uh, one, two, four. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. 14, 16, 18 is their point value. But the majors don't seem high enough. Actually, the majors are duplicates of uh, point value wise, are duplicates of the um, leaf cutter majors. Interesting. Anyway, uh, 10, 14, 18, my black ants, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that high. Particularly at level 1. Uh, right, I made a, a sheet called, I think it was called value calculation, creature value or something like that, creature value, okay, so, So a black ant is 0 0.57 value at level 1, 0 0.41 at level 2, and 0 0.52 at level 3. So it's actually the most value at level 1, but that makes sense because respawn values become more important the, um, the further you go. Army ant value, so... I don't know if this has got the updated stats. It, oh, it, actually, it doesn't matter. So there's 0 0.46 at level 1, 0 0.5 at level 2. These actually get more valuable the higher the level you go. But the value's not representative. Value just represents how much damage they get across before they die. It's kind of a rough, and it's it's kind of a value. To, you want everything to be sort of similar, just in different quantities. I'm sure I did a sheet to work out point value. Creature points slash food values. Yeah, different sheet. Right, this 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 sheet's actually based off How many black ants it takes to kill them? I mean, my dear, it says it takes two black ants to kill one. I don't know if that's actually true. Maybe they should be on par with black ants. Or slightly less. So they are slightly cheaper. Right, well, first of all, let's put them on par with black ants. That'll at least. So. 10, 14, 18. Um, and let's just knock each one down by one. 9, 13, 17. Okay, so the cost of them, they're 40, aren't they? 
So if they're 40, they are actually two, uh, a fifth cheaper than the black ants. So they're, they're technically their point value should be a fifth less. So a fifth of 10 is two. So that should be eight. Fourteen. That's a f fourteen should be twelve. Well, probably close to eleven actually, but and then eighteen should be f roughly fifteen. Okay, that's okay. That's that. I think that's fine. <laughs> Unfortunately, multiplayer is not that simple. You'd need a. Uh, there's, there's there's lots of other areas of the game you'd need to change. <laughs> But if we, if you implement multiplayer into the rest of the game, this game mode would be fairly simple to to bring across. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, so I've changed those values now. The engine's still opening. Um. Okay, so well, the the army ants, the uh, Medea have been reduced in value, a uh, point value, a little bit which should mean it's less advantageous to kill them in that level, in that particular level. Right. Hello, unfortunately you've arrived at the end of the stream. I'm about to I'm about to close about to end the stream. It's past midday now. Um Okay, so we've done a bit more on the tug of war level it's really close although in doing a few seconds testing I managed to come up with multiple things that needed sorting and there's still things that I need to work on uh, so I'll, do, I'll, I'll be working on the, these other things through the rest of the day um, so yeah uh, I won't be streaming next week but the week after I should be back to normal so look for me probably when when did I normally stream was it Wednesday or Thursday it became Friday in the end didn't it um, look for me in the latter half of next week uh, not next week the week after um, and we, we'll start getting things back into a regular regular schedule so yeah thanks very much for joining me uh, it's been a bit of a funny end to the stream you just see my face and hear me talking about stats that you can't see anyway I will see you all the week after next uh, yeah see you then